All right, here it is, video one. How to mount an image file or ISO using Magic Disk and Magic ISO. We're going to right click our image file, find our Magic ISO menus, mount it to E. We see we can now access the content of the virtual uh, disk in our virtual drive. Simple. Very easy. We, I use Magic Disk in conjunction with Magic ISO. Magic ISO is actually the right click menus you get here. Magic ISO, you see it's a right click. <coughs> I use Magic Disk in conjunction simply for the convenience of a taskbar actuated uh, drop down menu and I can unmount my image at this point and without moving around too much I can uh, find another image file whatever I have to do anyway it's, it's con a convenience I can change drive letters and whatnot using the right click function of magic disk so I use those two in conjunction that's how that works um, we're going to use Daemon Tools Lite next. Daemon Tools Lite, you will access your application and you will find it in your taskbar. You're going to go to Virtual Devices and point your point the application at the image file and mount the image almost in the same manner as Magic ISO. This time we see it says Blu-ray Disk ROM and that uh, really depends on the settings within each application as they will vary. I use either application, uh, either program to open an ISO. Um, sometimes one will open will we'll access the content of an ISO and the other will not and uh, it's just it's good when you're playing around with ISOs to have uh, a couple choices and uh, that's how that's what that boils down to we will unmount our image and we will um, we could actually remove this drive we'll see in here it shows drive F blu-ray disk ROM you can actually remove that completely so the system does not believe there's a drive there and we see now it's gone and uh, so I suggest the use of either program I like them both I use them both and uh, Thanks for watching video one. Simple, simple, guys. See you in video two.